Tell me about this moment right here. This is you and LeBron on the floor right after the end. That is a beautiful <laughs> yeah. picture. No, it's beautiful. It's two men showing emotion for each other. What, what, what's this moment like? Well, what did it mean for you? I, I didn't want to be the one guy that after, you know, we saw the ball go up, there's three seconds left, up four, that we knew it was all over. I didn't want to be the guy that was searching for someone to hug. So <laughs> I, I tried to find the person that everyone was most likely to hug, and it happened to be Bron. And all the cameras were there. He dropped to his knees. It was a special moment. I mean, uh -huh. it's something that I'll always remember among many things in that game. But that was a, yeah, a warm, cuddly embrace at the end there. <laughs> All right, now explain this to me. Why, why was this a big part of your celebrations here? Well, we kind of had a... Uh, I love this, by the way, if you can zoom in on the yeah. Cavaliers NBA champions 2016. Wow. So the WWE... Let's just hold that up for a second. Let me hold it over here. Yeah. So the WWE had this championship belt made for you? They did. Uh-huh. Yes. So we had a big... I mean, we all were really into, like, 90s wrestling and early sure. 2000s wrestling, so... Yeah. You know, all the Stone Cold Steve Austins and Undertakers and all those guys of the world. Uh -huh. We started wearing the vintage T-shirts because we knew it was going to be, I mean, especially in the finals, that kind of a series. It was going to be a, a wrestling match. It was going to go the distance. Well, there's and actually some footage of you doing your best Stone Cold Steve Austin yes. in the locker room. Jim, do we, do we have that footage here? This is you shotgunning two cores. Okay, so that's just the beginning. I understand that that's just the beginning of the refreshments. Well, a lot of champagne was poured on many people, and uh, mm -hmm. I think that was the moment where J.R. Smith, he, uh, he took off his shirt and hasn't put it on since. <laughs> In fact, here's a shot of him. Here's a shot of him when y'all are getting off the plane, like I, I said, believe. No, yeah. no shirt. There you are, no yep. shirt. Uh, I understand that uh, uh, J.R. Smith took off his shirt, wouldn't put his shirt back on. I understand that the president actually called someone in the Cavaliers organization. He did. It was Ty Lue, our head coach. He actually called him and said, you know, can we, can we get JR to put his shirt back on? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, and rightfully so, that was getting the most attention. So it was, I mean, uh -huh. JR, he's... The president of the United I, States. I, I live vicariously through him. He's, yeah. he's one of a kind. Mm -hmm. But the president calls in and says, those guns are weapons of mass destruction. Right. You need to cover those up. On a shirt, right. Um, all right, so here's obviously the simple question. Do you guys repeat next year? Go ahead, put them on the, put them on the felt I right mean, that, that's the plan. Yeah, we get everybody back. We feel like we can. Mm-hmm. That's ballsy. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, good luck next year. Again, um, protect the boys from Jamon yeah, Green. You should be yeah. fine.